All right, Matt Arroyo here, and I'm going to do another breakdown of a match I had with Luis Mata, one of my black belts. Very good, very strong, very technical, and uh, almost my size, about a little, little lighter than me, depending on any given day. <laughs> All right, so again, I'm looking for the insides, looking for the arm drags, looking for the head snap downs, double wrist grab. A lot of times I'll sit and then come back up and take him down. Russian tie. He went for a, almost a rolling leg lock. So I shot the legs by, forcing him to turtle. And now I'm looking for a back take, but he grabs my head. And I felt like he was going to... I felt like he was going to get positioned, so I abandoned. I kind of rushed the back take. All right, right now I could be getting to my knees or I could really try to just throw this foot over, but he's pretty flexible. He's bringing his knees to his chest. And then before I could really do anything, he already had a hold of my head, which is a really good thing to do. So now I could either just let him pull me and him get on top of me on the side control or north south, or I could just say, you know what, I'm abandoning what I'm trying here and I'm just going to get up. And that's what I did. I just got up. So. Sometimes you got to know when to bail. All right, I'm looking for my grips, the insides, foot sweeps, trips. Looks like we're playing Mercy. He shot a takedown, but there was someone behind us, so he decided to stop. I smacked him in the face on accident. And we're both looking to get on top. And then he pulls guard, looking for leg locks. I back step out, but he has the single X, the outside Ashino, or the, uh, and then he's transitioning. As long as I have his head, <clears throat> I feel pretty comfortable uh, to not get my leg messed up. So I'm looking to just hold on to the head, keep him stacked there, and eventually sprawl this leg backwards if I can. I'm not going to rush it though. As long as I have his head, I feel pretty good. He's framing well. He wants to get space between me and him so that he could sweep me over or that he could start bringing his other hand and everything down to my my foot for a finish so either one I don't like so I'm just gonna hang on tight until I can kick that back and he I think he eventually abandons it yep and starts to look for position so if he didn't have this frame in it would be an easy pass to the left but he's got this frame in keeping me away from him and he's gonna obviously use his feet to hook Okay, so I still got it. And he didn't really try to stop it either. He plays a, a, an interesting game here where he kind of just does nothing, and then I get impatient and I go for something, and that's when he escapes, which is smart. So I'm even sitting up, creating space for him to get an underhook, but he's not taking the bait. He's just kind of laughing. So I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he laughs at the camera. I'm looking for. I was looking for a Kimura. I was looking for a north-south, and smart, he waits till I go for a submission to blast. And that time I, I was able to hug his hips right before the blast, so I kind of beat him to that one. So he'll just go back again and do it again. Very good strategy, strategy. Because what I really want is people to resist my pass and get tired, so that when I get to side, they're exhausted. So he kind of didn't fight it too much, and now he knows he has good defense. So now he feels me going for an arm, so that would be another time to bust and explode. I know he's very flexible, he wants to get his legs over and, and hook me in. Um, but again, as long as his hands are underneath my rib, he's okay. I can't attack his arms. I could go for north-south, but he, he knows that. So right now I'm looking to just hook his leg, maybe throw my knee through for a, uh, a mount. But he spins me over. I'm big on grabbing ankles, especially when people are trying to re-guard. Um, I want to grab their ankles, pin them down, and just walk all the way back over to north-south. But he grabbed my leg and he got this leg in, so I think I may have to backstep. Yep, so I backstep, and now I have this trapped. And I like to do, oh, he keeps coming up. So he came up without an underhook, so it kind of leaves a clear path to his back. So of course I'm going to try to do that, but he's also looking for my leg. He wants to roll through for a knee bar or something, a leg lock. 
So all I'm trying to do is keep my arm here, trying to keep his hip to go back down to the ground or roll him over. I don't want him to get his legs back in front of me. And another back step. And I start to look for the back. So that was a pretty cool transition. I don't really get into that one too often. Let's see. Yep. Back step. He tries to come up. I see the back. I try to roll. He rolls. I don't roll. I take this. I back step. He brings me around. And, and here we are. Yeah, we couldn't do that again if we tried. But it was pretty cool. So now I'm obviously still looking to take the back. He lets me get the first hook in, and then he underhooks it with his leg. And so I backstep again. I'm, I guess I backstep a lot. I realize I'm doing these videos for you guys. I'm always trying to backstep. If they're ever trying to get a leg inside, I'm always backstepping to north-south and clearing out the, the mess. Backstepping, clearing out the mess. Now I feel like I can get a Kimura. So I start locking under, and I kind of try to lock it backwards for a minute. And here we are again. So I'm on Kesa Katami, control three, whatever you want to call it. I like to step the leg over and I like to pin their head to their shoulder so that they take this hand and push my knee. Because when he does that, I can get him in a cool position where I trap him. But he's keeping a strong head. I know this hand's eventually <laughs> going to come. I forget what we were talking about. He's talking trash or something. I know he's going to want to eventually push that off because nobody likes a foot in their face pushing their head back. So I'm just ready for it. I'm waiting. If it doesn't happen, I do it like for five or six seconds. And if it doesn't happen, I've tried to put my head to the mat and I kick my heel under and try to triangle their head. Because when I do that, it isolates their head. They can't get out. And then I have a good uh, attempt to go for this Kimura here. So let's see if I do that. No, nope. he pushes me. I, I don't give up on this one very easily. So they got to really do something to make me stop putting the foot over the head because it really doesn't cost me anything. Rarely do I get rolled for doing it. More back steps, guys. More back steps. I think I might have hit him in the eye. Or he hit me in the head. I don't know. Who cares? You don't feel those things too much in training. And now I got to pass again. Or at least try. And I think he just lets me. Because, or maybe he tries to get a leg lock. But lately he's been playing to just let me pass, but now this is what I want. I want this, I want him to try to stop it, and I want him to get tired doing it. So I backstep a lot, he's trying to come under me, and then the front headlock is just where I, where my game is mostly. That's probably my best, one of my best positions, is the front headlock and the backs, in the back. So again, I'm trying to hunt this guy's back, Luis Mata, but he's keeping tight with his legs. I got my harness. He's trying to catch it here, so I decided to open it, pull him over. He was going for a honey hole back step leg lock. I saw it, so I popped out, and we're back to square one. So this is a good match. I mean, he knows a lot. He's a good black belt. Oh, I feel him coming under for another leg. Just try to stay out, and I give up my right foot. He's going for an inside heel hook. So what I like to do is just kind of kick it in more. A lot of people try to rip it out. I try to kick it in deeper so my heel is like far behind him until I can figure out how else I'm going to do this. And I keep my, my head low over here so he can't sweep me over. I get on both hands. And as long as it's deep, it's going to be hard for him to reach. And then what I really want to do, as long as I keep my heel tucked in his rib and, and deep behind him, I just want to get this leg in the front of me. If I can get both of these legs in the front of me, I can slip this right out. That's what I'm going to do. But he knows that. And he's trying to go to the heel. So i got to keep turning. So I'm turning to keep the heel in the rib. And he actually gets really close. He hooks it here. Again, nice and deep. You see how, how much leg you see? And I'm tr I always try to stand on it when I can so he can't expose the heel. And now I'm looking to just get this foot to the front of me. If I can get that foot to the front of me, I'm out. So I whip behind, grab it, boom. Now it's in the front, and now it's an easy kick out. Well, maybe not easy, but it's a kick out. And hopefully they're getting tired by this point, is what I'm hoping. 
I always feel like my cardio is pretty good, uh, especially in a seven minute roll. I can pretty much go full force. Um, and now he's got a deep half guard, which is fine. I, I love when people do a deep half guard. I got a lot of good stuff for that. And now he's cut, trying to use it to sweep or come up and back on one of my legs. And I just stop the sweep. Be careful of my legs. Now I'm in the float position, Wagner Rocha, float position. All right, I want to, from here always, I want to either close the knee or open the knee. If I close it, I'll smash pass. If I open, I'll knee cut through. So he's leaving it dead center. So I got to just wait, put weight on him. I look to get that pummel, that underhook, so I can knee cut across. He didn't give it to me. His knee is still pretty much right in the middle of my chest. I need to get it on one side or the other. So instead, <laughs> instead I hike it. That's another thing I've been doing lately. And it, unfortunately, I need him in the face on the hike. He was coming forward as I was coming with the hike. Oh. <laughs> um, so now I got him bunched up. Anytime you can get a control of the head, that's great. He's opening up his knee. I'd like to smash it for the smash pass. Sprawl, sprawl. Underhook. Tried to get the knee cut through again from there. He saw it. Didn't let it happen. He's coming underneath me. I'm trying to control this foot so that he can't rotate underneath me. So as long as I control that, it's going to be tough for him to spin upside down. I'm also controlling the wrist. I was looking for a toe hold. Another throw pass. Ten seconds left. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? And maybe he shoots a takedown. Maybe he knows he's down on points. And I'm going to obviously try to sprawl. He goes for an Eminari roll to, to end the match. All right, so that was another breakdown. I really hope you liked it. If you liked it, please share this. Please subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. Comment if you have any questions. And I'll be making a bunch more of these. Enjoy.